Hi, welcome to Mahika Tutorials. I am Mahika Motwani. In previous tutorial, we created this employee class and the employee DAO class. We were writing a project to make use of JDBC through Spring Framework. So for that, we created this employee class with three attributes, ID, name and salary. And then we had given the getters and setters for this. And then we created this DAO class in which we were providing the different APIs for pro performing different operations on the table or the database so here we created one reference of type jdbc template because using this template we are going to perform the CRUD operations on the database so we created this reference variable and using this that reference variable we invoked the update method to perform the insertion on the employee table so far we have created only one method in this DAO class uh, we will add few more methods as we will move on now the next thing that we need to do is we need to create our configuration file in which we will configure the different beans so let us first create the xml file for providing the configuration so we will right click on src and select new uh, if it is not listed xml file is not listed there then we will go to other option and from there we will select the xml file and now here we will give the name to our XML file, let's say beans.xml. Now the first bean that we would be config configuring in our beans.xml file is the driver manager data source because using that bean only we will give the different properties like the driver which is to be used for database connection uh, and the URL of the database, username, password, all these properties will be specified in the bean driver manager data source. So we will first configure that particular bean so first we need the doc type here so we will copy that from one of the existing projects so from here we will copy this doc type and then we will put in our current beans.xml file and then we need to close the bean stack okay now here we will give the configuration of our first bean so here we will make use of bean tag and then we will give the id and class so id that we are going to give is ds for data source and then here we will give the class the class that we have to specify here is the driver manager data source so what we will do we will search for that class by pressing ctrl shift t and this is the class that we are looking for and then we will copy the qualified name of this class and paste it over there so we will copy the qualified name and then in this beans.xml file here we will paste it okay so for this bean we need to give the different properties which are required to establish connection that is what is the driver dat database and so on so we will first configure the property driver class name so the name of the property is driver class name driver class name okay and here we will specify the value for this property and the value for this property is i am going to use com.mysql.jdbc.driver as i am using the mysql as my database so as per your database you need to give the driver name here so here i will give com.mysql.jdbc dot driver okay and then we will give the another property so here we will again make use of property tag okay now the second property that we need to configure is the url property so here we will give name equals url and then we will give the value for this okay the url for my database is okay equal sign is missing 
here I am going to give JDBC colon MySQL colon slash slash localhost colon 3306 which is the port on which MySQL is running on my machine and then slash and the name of the database that is to be used for connectivity the database that I am going to use is EMP so after specifying the URL the next property that we need to specify is the username so here we will give property name equals username and then we will give the value for this property equals the username for my database is root and then we will give the property password and then we will give the value of this property and the password for my database is again root so I will give root here now the next pin that we need to configure is the JDBC template that is the template that we are using to obtain the database connection and fire the query so we will now configure the JDBC template so let's give one more bean tag and for this bean we will first give the ID so here we will give ID equals and we are going to give JDBC template only so we will give JDBC template and then we need to give the class for this bean so here again we can search for this control shift T and then we can search for JDBC template okay and then we can copy the qualified name from here so in our beans.xml file here we can paste the path now here for this bean we need to again configure one property and that property is the data source so here we will make use of property tag to give the property data source and then for specifying the value of this property we will make use of reference because we want this to be injected so here we will give reference equals that is it refers to the DS the data source which we have configured above now the next pin that we need to configure is the JDBC template that is the template that we are using to obtain the database connection and fire the query so we will now configure the JDBC template so let's give one more bean tag and for this bean we will first give the ID so here we will give ID equals and we are going to give JDBC template only so we will give JDBC template and then we need to give the class for this bean so here again we can search for this Control shift T and then we can search for JDBC template ok and then we can copy the qualified name from here so in our beans.xml file here we can paste the path now here for this bean we need to again configure one property and that property is the data source 
so here we will make use of property tag to give the property data source and then for specifying the value of this property we will make use of reference because we want this to be injected so here we will give reference equals that is it refers to the ds the data source which we have configured above now the next pin that we need to configure is the employee DAO which we have created to provide the different APIs for performing different operations on the employee bean. So we need to give one more bean tag here and then we will configure the employee DAO bean here. So here we will first give the ID and let the ID be EDAO and this refers to the bean employee DAO so we will copy the qualified name from here and paste it in our beans.xml file now in this employee DAO we have one attribute JDBC template that we need to configure so here we will use the property tag to configure that so we will give property tag and in this property tag we will give name which is equal to JDBC template sorry it should be JDBC template so let's copy it and paste it here and this property refers to the JDBC template bean which we have created above so it refers to this bean so here we will give the reference of this bean okay so we are done with the code required in our beans.xml file what all we have done we have first configured this driver manager data source bean and using this data source we are specifying the properties required to establish the connection like the driver url username and password and then this data source is to be linked with the jdbc template so we have created a bean of type jdbc template which refers to the above data source that is this jdbc template will refer to the above created data source and then finally we have configured our employee DAO class because we have one jdbc template attribute over there so that refers to this bean which we have created now the only thing left that to be done is to create the client code from where we can perform the operation on the employee bean but that we will see in next tutorial in this tutorial we have defined the different beans required in our configuration file thank you for watching this tutorial